All right, guys, it's Michael Little Van Scout Channel, and we're here, Black Bear Pass. So I've been wanting to do this trip for a long time. So uh, we got a 10-day trip on this one through Colorado. We're going to do start out with Black Bear Pass, and then we're going to hit all of the uh, other Jeep uh, uh, Badge of Honor trails. So starting out with Black Bear Pass, so far so good. It's a good day. It's about 50 degrees, nice and sunny this morning, and uh, the forecast is uh, rain supposed to come in in the afternoons. Hopefully we, uh, we're already up and down by then, but it's going to be a good one. Stick around, and we'll take you along. All right. Okay, up until now, it's been a nice stroll through the mountains, but at this point, things get serious and the fun begins. The trail's gonna need your undivided attention and you're not gonna want distractions like your phone or video recording. Okay guys, this is where things get serious. Many people have done this before without issue, but many people have also rolled or gotten themselves into a tough situation. Now that I've completed it, my advice would be to know your vehicle well and your capabilities. The difficulty is only a four to six and you'll likely have done tougher obstacles at an OHV park, but the sheer drop makes this intense. It's best to have a spotter and go nice and easy.
Oh, mister. That's my brother. All right, so the rest of the team just made it down. So are you gonna be scared coming down there? Yeah, probably. There's two spots um, that you're gonna be really off camera. That's where you're seeing the videos of people uh, flipping. You just gotta hit those spots more direct on. Don't hit it off, off camber, hit it direct on. Uh, you know, I think I was pushing in the in the uh, mid 20s uh, roll on that 24 somewhere in there. So um, difficulty is only four to six. So I mean, if you're out practicing on any other trails, you're 100% can do this. So you only got one life. Come out, experience it for yourself. You know, it's just not a lot of words to describe it. You just got to see it yourself. It's amazing. Day one for this Colorado trip. Lots more to come. All right. All right, the first off camber spot behind us, we're feeling confident, but we're not out of the woods yet, and the steps are coming up next. Not gonna lie, there's the pucker factor here, and the heart is racing. You should be in four-wheel drive low, first gear, or using descent control. Keep watching for your front driver's side tire, and go nice and easy, letting the rig do its job. I decided to keep all the rigs in the video so you can get an idea of the different lines you can take. We all took a somewhat separate line, but the one thing in common is we all turn into the drop instead of running parallel to it. As I mentioned before, it's important to know your rig, specifically how much flex you have so you can take the proper line. For reference, our jeeps are well built, rolling on 37s or 40s with a good amount of flex. Here you'll see Calvin jump out to spot even though the driver is highly experienced. There's no shame in taking the extra precaution and urge you to do the same if you have any doubts. It's nice to roll with the crew that has your back. It doesn't look too bad. It's really not. I guess people probably have taken the high side there.
After taking a few minutes to enjoy the waterfall and talking about our experience going through the steps, we continued on. It's important to note that this section is just as dangerous and there have been as many accidents on this portion, if not more. So it's important to keep your concentration and take it nice and slow.
and a half. You can probably you can probably call that if you want. guys so that's it we just uh, did all the major stuff and uh, we're headed all the way down and that was a lot of fun um, you know spotted up spotted on that first switchback and then everybody was good after the second one and you know better to be safe than sorry but we got a lot of experienced people here so it was it was no issues um, but man it was really fun like I said you gotta get out here man you gotta check it out for yourself totally worth it